I always knew the cardiology program was great, but I didn't know how important it was going to be to me. The Cardiovascular Integrated uh, Physiology Program is the only one of its kind in Canada, and it's designed specifically to help people who have signs and symptoms of heart disease, but whose coronary angiogram looks normal. On the one hand, they know they're having symptoms, but no one gives them a diagnosis, so they, they feel ignored. Uh, sometimes they feel like they're told it's all in their head. The chest pain was always there, and every time I went to talk to somebody, they said it was nothing, and it was in my mind. It all kind of came to a, I guess, a high point when I started having symptoms in my left hand. I woke up on a Sunday and it started to turn blue. A lot of healthcare professionals at different hospitals, like nobody knew what was going on. I was able to find this connection with Dr. Miner and Mary, the nurse practitioner, and then they saved my life. So we see them to see whether they have issues with how their arteries behave, uh, looking at the large arteries and small arteries of the heart that actually can't be seen on a typical angiogram. One of the things that's confusing for people is the relationship between the epicardial arteries, which are the large arteries that you see on an angiogram, and the microvasculature. The epicardial arteries are just kind of like tubes. They just sort of sit there and they let the blood come and go. The microvasculature are the blood vessels that control the flow of blood. So if you need more blood flow, they open up. And if you need less, they close down. And if they're dysfunctional, people don't get enough blood flow. When Dr. Miner looked at the report after the stress test, he goes, I see it. And which was so emotional because it was like decades of people saying it was nothing. And his words were, I believe you, I see it, we're gonna fix this. Up to 30% of patients who have angina have normal angiograms, which means that about 90,000 patients per year in Canada may be suffering from microvascular dysfunction. In the absence of a proper diagnosis, these patients undergo multiple cardiac investigations, costing the Canadian healthcare system billions of dollars. Honestly, without the team and without the study and without this program here um, at Southlake, I honestly, I have no idea if I would even be here today with Dr. Miner and with Mary um, and, and figuring out what I have, this cardio, um, microvascular disease gave me this renewal um, that I feel amazing. But what's clear is that once we make a diagnosis and get them on treatment, they start feeling better immediately, which is a really wonderful thing, right? People who have been having symptoms for 20 years are pain-free for the first time, uh, and that's a, it's a privilege to be part of that.